Hello everyone, welcome to DND Learning Series. Today we are going to see about introduction to the electronic components, type of components and their working principles. So let's start with it. So before we go to the electronic part, we will just see a general life example. Consider there is a lamp, okay, you are lit a little lamp and accidentally your hand goes on the frame. Immediately you just pick your hand from there. So there are three things which are working in this as a human system. Skin, brain and muscle. Skin will give a signal to the brain and brain will analyze the signal according to the situation into which you are and accordingly it commands the respective muscle. So if you same, if you, if you replicate the same system into the electronics, there will be three things which will be input devices, output devices and controlling these two there is a controlling device. So for an example, if you take any input devices uh, in an electronics, then those are most of the time those are sensors. Uh, take an example of uh, LDR sensor. So these are the sensors which will be giving input to the electronic controlling device. So controlling device can be UNO, NANO or any microcontroller and the output devices. There are many number of output devices that you will come to know in this series. So uh, before we go to the all these things, we understand this very much better that input devices, output devices and the controlling devices Input devices are many in numbers, that means the sensor are many in numbers, but the output devices are limited. So output devices can be uh, any motors or a display or uh, a buzzer or a laser diode, which we can see, which we human can see, understand. So those are the output devices and the controlling devices can be microcontrollers, which will process the data, which, which will process your uh, whatever the commands you have programmed for that controller. So that will be uh, taken care by this mic microcontrolling devices. So microcontrolling devices are like uh, Arduino series that we are using in our data lab that we'll see in this series in detail. So first of all, we'll go to the input devices. As I discussed earlier, as I told you, that is there are many number of input devices. Those will sense the uh, whatever the sound, vibration, heat, humidity, temperature, moisture. There are many things that in that comes into the input devices. So this is a list that we are having in our ATL lab presently. There are even more devices also that you can buy. So first thing is the IR sensor. It's call, also called as proximity switch. It senses the distance. LDR sensor. It uh, senses the light or luminosity. Uh, luminosity. This is the IR array that we use for the line follower robots. This is a touch sensor module. So human touch. It will sense the human touch. This is the switch buttons that press buttons we might have seen in most of the toys sound sensor. This will detect the sound sensor and uh, we can use this in many applications. This is a metal touch detector. So this is not a metal detector. This is a metal touch uh, detector soil moisture sensor. It will detect the soil moisture. Uh, it is a raindrop sensor. So any droplets water droplets uh, falls on it. It will sense this is a this is all the entire is MQ series. This is smoke detector. All this looks like same MQ3 is alcohol sensor. Uh, MQ4 then this is a natural gas sensor these are all look same but only you have to identify from the numbers MQ5 see this name written on this uh, steel part that will uh, describe so MQ6 is a LPG sensor MQ7 is a carbon monoxide sensor MQ8 is a hydrogen gas detector so these are all the gas detectors we are having in series MQ135 is a air quality sensor Next is a humidity sensor. So whatever the amount of humidity we are having in the air that can be sensed with this humidity sensor ultrasonic sensor. This we use most of the time for the detecting any object. This is a PIR motion sensor. So any motion in there in that region that will uh, detect by that. This is LM35 temperature sensor very small but very effective color recognition. So it detects all the seven colors. It is used most of the time for detection of color water flow sensor. So water whatever the amount of flow it is there in this so that can be detected a force pressure sensor what is the applied force that will be measured by this this is a piezoelectric plate when you press on this it will give the electricity or current this is a pulse rate sensor so what are the pulses we are having that is the sense by this bluetooth module so this is also an input because some most of the time it will be used for the connections gsm so you put your uh, sim card in this it will act as a mobile so gps it will give the global positioning of your device whatever you are uh, making universal switch keypad so this will be used in most of the locking systems and all so rf module rx and tx these are together will make one sensor this is a joystick so you might have seen in the mobile games and all this is a joystick this is a rfid cutter you might have seen this in the petrol bunk the guy will swipe this before we fill the petrol capacitor to touch module this is used for the different pur purposes this is triple axis magnetometer 
and next one is the accelerometer these both are there in your mobiles when because of this only we play the games and this last one is a flex sensor so this is also kind of a register so these are all out of these all input devices first one to five these are only digital input devices that means programming this uh, is very simple and it can be used as only digital sensor so it won't work as an analog sensor from 6 to 17 this will act as both digital as well as analog that means you can use it as a digital sensor also as well as an analog sensor also from 18 to last 37 these are all analog input devices that means so uh, what is this digital and analog for an example if you take a digital uh, uh, a switch a, a normal switch at your home that we use to switch on and off the fan or the light that's a digital that means it is having only two values either zero or one either on or off so those are digital if you want to take an example of analog so analog means there is no any fixed value you take an example of thermometer at your lab which will not give you a fixed value so every morning it need not to be giving us only 25 degree celsius fixed value every in the morning it can give any value according to the environment so that's an analog value and accordingly these are all analog sensors so that is the difference between digital and analog so in the digital you will have the fixed output either it is on or off that means it will sense or it will not sense in the analog it will be any value of depending upon the environment into which you are using this sensor these are the input devices now coming to the output devices we are having many output devices first of all uh, you can see here there are many different colors of leds we are having we use we use the buzzers we are, these are all the things that we are having in the lab. vibration motor this is there in your mobile this small one that pancake model that is there in your mobile laser diode this most of the toys like laser toys that you are having this is very beautiful sound playback module you can record your own voice and you can play so this is the relay so this is two channel and one channel relay this is the interface or it's a uh, interfacing device between the high voltage and low voltage oh and this one is a water pump module uh, most of the small small fountains this will be there bio motors bio means battery operated motors this requires 9 to 12 volt dc motor uh, this is normal dc motor it's a 150 rpm this is small servo motor with the plastic gears inside so these are all the accessories uh, this is a small servo motor with a metal gear size will be same but the metal gear and plastic gear this is positional servo angle base and the last one is continuous metal gear so these are all the four different types of servo motors that you are having in your lap this is a seven segment LED display. Okay, so this you might have seen in the petrol bunk. You know? This is a 16 into 2 LCD. Why 16 into 2? 16 alphabets into 2 rows. This is 8 by 8 dot matrix. So 8 dots and 8 dot matrix. So this last one is a robotic stepper motor with the driver board. So these are all the output devices. If you see these output devices, using the 1 to 7 is very easy. That means uh, you might have seen those uh, LED buzzer vibration motor and laser diode. these are all two pin devices you connect the ground negative and positive to the uh, any digital output pin of the microcontroller you can easily on and off or you can easily control it so next 9 8 9 10 11.3 11.4 and 15 these required different external power source as well as a uh, you can say as there it needs a driver board so what is the driver board so this l298p and l293d these are the types of uh, driver board which you can um, see here these are required to interface between the microcontroller which is low voltage having 5 voltage and these requires around 9 to 12 voltage so this that is the interface needed and remaining this small solo motor 11.1 11.2 that is very easy to use arduino mega now uh, coming to the controlling devices part so there are uh, these are the things that we are having in our lab arduino mega arduino uno and arduino nano so according to the sizes the names are mega means big uno means intermediate nano means small and this last one is your raspberry pi so raspberry pi is a very advanced platform and uh, it is having many many functions so that is just an introduction to the electronics that we are having in our lab in detail we will see about the each and every single component their working principle in detail in the separate videos for each and everything so keep watching our videos and keep learning thanks for watching again hope you enjoyed the video 
there are many videos regarding the tinkering lab there in our channel please do encourage us by subscribing our channel and also suggestions or any remarks or any doubts please do in the comment box keep learning keep tinkering